Hello everyone, happy Saturday night. Welcome to, I don't think I've ever launched a one day special. I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't think I've ever done it. I don't think, no, I've never, I've never held that huge mantle, which is the launch of a one day special. It's okay, but I'm not going to be on my own as well, metaphorically speaking. Actually, yes, metaphorically, no. Um, it's a brand new one day special from Spellbinders, ladies and gentlemen, uh, designed by the amazing talent that is Becca Feacon. Um, these are amazing. Um, they have an umbrella of dimensional doily which if you close your eyes and just say the words it conjures up exactly what you see in these amazing dies they are uh, incredible i mean they really are for those of you who have um, a very exacting open expression then i think these are going to be absolutely perfect for you the journeys on which you can take dies on are just far and wide i mean when you look at some of the finished samples here Oh my gosh, and I have to say, oh, amazing. Our lovely Nikki Dan will be doing some of the demonstrations. We'll be seeing and hearing from Becca Feacon herself who designed these dies. Um, our lovely Paula um, has, has made some of the samples um, here as well. So mwah, lots of love to lovely Paula as well, um, who I know is um, enjoying making samples and enjoying keeping very, very crafty um, at home right now. Aren't these just immense and beautiful i love the fact that they 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 just they all have different expressions as well the dies are absolutely stunning because you've got those different elements running all of the way through you've got so many different journeys that you could take with these as well um i love them i think they're absolutely brilliant um i love the way you have the hearts here there's some that are like a lovely fan wafers. I mean, they are awesome, aren't they? Completely and utterly beautiful. Um, I've got plenty more finished samples here to show you, but listen, there's no better way of introducing these dies than from hearing from the very designer herself. So I'll hand you straight over to Becca Feacon, who actually designed tonight's one day special. This particular one is Timeless Grace. And as you see, there are three very similar motifs. Now, these motifs can be cut in several passes to make um, many pieces. And then the pieces are linked together and there's a little key on the packaging. It's gonna show you exactly what they're gonna look like. So this is gonna help you identify the piece. This is gonna help you identify the full doily. So along with the Timeless Grace Doily, we also have Pointed Harmony. So you can see this has got a little bit of a different profile, but here again, we also have three motifs. This is what the individual piece looks like. And then when you get done, this is what the doily looks like. Well, let's not forget Starburst Petal Doily. And so this is what the individual piece looks like right here. And then if you put them all together, this is the doily that you will get. Here again, three different, three motifs, they're all the same, giving you three motifs so that you can get three pieces out of one pass. And you can tell in this one doily, you'll need to run it three times. And then last but not least, we have the heart melange doily. And it's just got this little heart shaped piece, but it, it, it yields this beautiful doily. They all three look different. And so I wanted to show those to you before we actually jump into putting, putting one together. So I'm gonna just put this back here and I'm gonna bring in a piece here. This is the pointed, um, this is the pointed harmony doily. Let me get that in the center. And I wanted to actually show you the die because this is how the die comes. As I mentioned, you get three different motifs, and in one of the motifs, you can see that it's hollowed out, but I also give you the inline and the inlay because there may be an opportunity that you want to do a shadow. All you're gonna do is flip this over, and then you're gonna wanna grab your washi tape and just tape that on the back, like so. 
and that's going to give you the three different motifs. Okay. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out several of these just so that you can see what the cut piece looks like. Now I'm going to show you what you do to these pieces to get them ready so that you can link them together. With one flat one, what I recommend is that you use a ruler or a business card. So I have a ruler right here. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring your ruler in right even with this perforated line. And then you're going to fold. And having the ruler just makes it very easy to hit that line. And you're going to do that on the other side as well. Come right in even with the line and then just fold just like that. So that actually gives us a piece that has what I call wings. You can just see little wings right there. Now for the second fold, you're going to come behind and you're going to line the perforated lines up with the edge of the ruler and then you're going to press down. And this is just an easy way to hit that line without having to fold it with your fingers. I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to line up the perforated line on the edge of the ruler and then I'm going to press down just like that so that I hit that line. And then I'm all set. I can fold those in and it ends up looking like a little dog. You have little dog ears that stand out. So you're going to do that to eight pieces. Okay. So if I am holding this in a left hand and my right hand, I can look on the left side and see that there's a slit right here. I can look on my right hand and see there's a slit up here. Those two slits are going to intersect. And you just slide them together just like that. So that's two pieces put together. Now keeping um, the bulk on my right hand side, if I grab another piece, it's the same thing. I'm just going to keep slipping right into that slit. So now I have three pieces together. I'll move this over and I'll grab another piece and always the slits at the upper right and at the lower left. I'm just going to match them together and slide them together. Now they may get hung on, uh, you know, one of the decorative pieces. Just work at it. I'm going to come in with two more pieces and then we're going to close it off. You're always holding it the same way. You're just going to close up that circle and that is how you connect a dimensional doily. They all work this way. Now, I do recommend gluing them, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in with just a little dot of glue inside each of these channels, and then we'll close it up. So, And then I just come in here with my fingernails and just press them together. And so basically, you have a lower level doily, and then you have an upper level where you have these little um, wings that stick up. Now, I will be honest, I've seen people turn this over and use that on that side as well. It's just gorgeous on that side as well. And then you're able to go back and do shadow underneath any of these. And that's just one of the four. Um, that's, uh, that's incredible, isn't it? Because that, uh, it's, it all slots straight into place when you see just that one demonstration. Now, if you look at the four different designs of the dies, you can see how the different shapes are going to correspond and fit into each other just perfectly because those perforation lines are built into the die there. You can shadow with it and it cre creates some absolutely amazing effects. It really does. Um, and such a breadth of different um, cards and designs you can make. Let me just show you some finished samples because they're they are again just stunning. I mean it's a little early but oh sorry I thought that said Christmas sorry. <laughs> hey the anniversary could be any time couldn't it? I thought that said Christmas for some reason I don't know why. I think it's the colours maybe. It's gorgeous though isn't it? <laughs> Perfect. Here's another anniversary one as well. Ah, here's one for me right now. Hey, petal, smile. That's beautiful. Our lovely Paula um, made that. 
Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful, isn't it? Let's show you another one. This one says, I'll check first. Congrats, congrats. I think this is a this is a Nikki one. So you can see that, that that doily is the base. And then you've got the little wings. How ingenious, isn't it? And of course you can use the elements individually and separately. I think this is another Paola creation. You can see, can it? It has a heart and soul in it. You can see, can't you? So have a little look again at the different shapes of the dies and then we'll see some more demos as we go along um, through the one day special. There's lots and lots and lots of you, very, very busy already um, with people getting theirs. Um, it is amazing, you can start to see the possibilities. And of course, because they're all kind of similar shapes as well, I'm sure that there will be options of mixing and matching, you know, sort of different designs together as well. I'm sure we're going to investigate that um, as we go through more demos with both Becca and our own very own lovely Nikki Hassan as well, who'll be doing some of the demos uh, for the one day special as well. I, do you know what? I, I hadn't even so far looked at that price tag. Isn't it incredible? And that's that's the joy of a one day special. Usual price up here. Um, today's price comes in with a nice saving, of course. Remember, for 24 hours on this case, it's £19. So actually you know saving roughly speaking the price of another two dies which is really really good here isn't it 44 pounds and 96 pence there um it is on flexi there as well so two payments there of 22 pounds and 48 pence this is on extended delivery going out on the 10th which is on i know nobody knows which day of the week it is right now it's going out on friday Whatever today is, the next time it's Friday, then your one day special will be going out. It's actually Saturday today, I think, I don't know. 10% of a big, big stock has already sold out and gone on these. We'll see more demos with them a little bit later on. But let me wander th uh, down the counter because there are some other designs um, of Becca's here as well. Um, she's extremely talented and, and so you have to have quite a mathematical brain as well to conjure up um, amazing designs like this one. So this is the filigree drop in circlet die, which you can quite, quite carefully. Um, it's beautiful, it's stunning. And here's the kind of thing it creates as well, because I've got some wonderful samples to show you with this one. This one won't say Christmas, it will say, congrats, my lovely pal. It's wonderful, isn't it? Almost gives you a, a you know, a, a world a nice, this is a, oh, this is a Nikki one, sorry, I beg your pardon. And here's another one from Nikki. Happy day. Oh, happy day. Beautiful, isn't it? And just think about the way that you could actually sort of decorate and embellish further um, with this die. It's extraordinary. Like a little window into a postcard, a little window into a secret garden, maybe. £19.98 and pence on that one, making a nice saving at £4 there. 691371 is your item number for that one. Um, another one of Becca's fantastic designs right now, uh, and this one is a double bow this time. Stunning. Now, these are the ones that we've got, I think, on the cards here. Yes, they are. So on the, um, on the um, sample cards that we've been showing you, this is the little bow. In fact, actually, Nikki has left one loose, so I can, well, uh, not whether, whether intentionally or not, it is now. <laughs> Let Derek loose. Uh, there's another show. Um, so this, this is the die to create the fantastic double bow. And it really is beautiful, isn't it? And she's got that to, together with a little... Um, a little pearl with a, what do we call these little clips where the two pins, split pin, it's like, like that kind of affair going on. You can call it Brad if you like, Charlotte. <laughs> it, it could well be. So that's the die to make this gorgeous double bow. I think actually creating little bows is, is often quite a, a difficult thing to do in paper, isn't it? Well, not anymore, because you have the die there to be able to do that. 756188. Uh, uh, it says turn over to how to, so I won't turn over, but it will. There you go. So it just shows you how to, uh, how to assemble. And it's only four steps. 
Isn't that clever? 756188 is your item number at £9.99. pence. Right. OK. Now, we are looking at some more spellbinders, amazing dies, and uh, bits and pieces and lovely papers that we've got in the show as well. Uh, you can shop ahead of us, of course, on the website at hochander.com. Uh, we're going to start with these. These are absolutely brilliant. Now, these are your... Um, these are your shape abilities. And with this also comes your ribbons as well. So you've got your little tags. And these are the charmed dies. And there are 10 dies in there. So various different shapes there from the stars to the little rosette, if you like, the triangle, the elongated heart there, um, the little flag tag. And then you've got some corresponding ribbon to use with those tags as well, which is beautiful. So you've got two different sizes there, or sorry, two different colours in three different sizes, which is really beautiful. A lovely satin ribbon, satin ribbon. <laughs> Hello, fourth hour. Um, you've got peach and you've got two uh, lilac as your two colours there. I have to say, if, if it was that at 9 99 I'd be pleased for you. Or if it was that for 9 99 I'd be pleased for you. Um, to have the two together with the 10 dies, let me show you the dies as well. They are cute, really, really good. So you've got your 10 dies plus your six lengths of ribbon. And I love the way the ribbon is actually in three different um, sizes for you as well. And there's, there's a fair amount of ribbon on there as well. I don't know if it tells you the actual quantity. It's, uh, well, it's nine meters, so it would be three meters in each of the sizes there. And then all over again in the lilac. That's really good, isn't it? Um, it's a it's a saving of basically it's a saving of two thirds against the ordinary price, isn't it? It's almost like a happy hour deal that one, isn't it? Um, but as far as I know, it's not just for the hour. So grab it now while you can because it could you know it could disappear at any moment. You know how stocks do you know people shop ahead and everyone's doing it on the web at the moment, aren't they? Seven one seven 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 two. <laughs> is your item apparently it's the modern way of doing it the www dot um right let's move on we've got some border dies for you next oh sorry have i jumped one sorry i always do this always do this. i don't know where i am from one to sorry i'm back in the right place now this is your swiss border die from spellbinders let me show you this east west because you might see that as a nice sort of nest for a design to sit upon in fact there's a little bit of inspiration on the back of the um on the back of the packet there as well there are so many beautiful reasons and it's two completely different expressions there isn't it that could be cloudy that could be wandering vines beautiful very nice indeed uh 14.99 for two big big dies that are now upside down there you go 631068 is your item number on that one. Now at this one, I'm now in the right place. Um, this is floral lace. <laughs> now this is lovely, it's three dies. So you've got the individual, almost a mandala there, isn't it? Which is then replicated one, two, three, four, five times over um, in this die, which again would be beautiful, beautiful border. And you know quite often how you see that little sort of tiara that goes to the top of a card, which you can just add that extra something to things like bridal cards um, then again that would be fantastic for that wouldn't it so you've got the individual you've got the five in the row and then you've got the sort of the half mandala on a wonderful regal border again I'm, I'm i know this is a die and i may be breaking a law by saying this but i'd almost want to use that as a stencil design as well which i guess there is nothing to yes you could cut it out couldn't you on something sufficient and make a, a stencil from it. Of course you could. Good, I haven't broken any laws by saying that. Oh, dearie me. Uh, 817921 is the item number then. £16.99. pence. Again, sizeable dies here from Spellbinders, a name that you know and you love and you trust. Um, now, this is, this is amazing because this is stamps and dies together. So it's, oh, happy day. <coughs> Excuse me. You've got your die and your stamp set here. I love the fact um, that these are all individual. So you've got the congrats and baby and anniversary and birthday. Oh, that's where the congrats came from. The congrats that I thought was Christmas. Hang on, I'll go grab one. <laughs> I'd, how I made Christmas out of, out of this, I will never know. 
But look, here's the, here's the congrats. And there are many others there as well. So you've got birthday boy, uh, the big boy. It's your girl. Congrats. 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 It's the big baby boy. Um, let's have a look at the dies. Well, there's lots of different lovely combinations you can make out of that, isn't it? And at the top in your dies, you've got the, um, the, the two frames there. Wonderful, wonderful frames. Um, plus, you've got the oh, happy and then day um, up the side there as well. In fact, let me just give you some inspiration on the back. There you go. Oh, happy day. Lovely. Uh, £19.99. pence. That's stamps and dies. It's really, really good. Right. OK, now. We are going back to our one day special right now because the demonstration by the very, very designer, um, Becca Feacon, um, is incredible. So we need to go and see more of that. So the details for the one day special will stay over there as we see another demo on these amazing <coughs> special dies. Over to Becca. Okay, so this is a dimensional doily. And when I said that things are not what they always appear, you can actually take this set of motifs and oh dear do you know oh you you know what used to happen with the uh, with the old videos where you put the tape <laughs> in and and it would start chewing. You could hear the machine chewing the tape. <laughs> I think the digital equivalent of that has just happened. But don't worry, because it's it's not it's not um, permanent. We will be going back to that. Apparently, we've got to um, something's got Control Alt Delete because that I used to work in IT. And that fixes 99% of all problems. Well, it used to back in the day. It was about 20 odd years ago, though. Um, in the meantime, should we just carry on down the counter for now? We'll, we'll, we will go back to Becker in just a second. Um, let's do some papers first because these are, oh my word. I have to tell you, I've seen a lot of paper packs in my very short time here at Ho Chandra. I've only been here since, oh, two o'clock. Uh, no, um, since um, back end of last year, I think it was, wasn't it? October, November, something like that. Haven't been here long, and I have to say, this is one of the nicest, most beautiful and varied paper packs. They're called Premium Stack, and you'll see why. I'm going to have to sort of bring them in at different angles, actually. It's almost like you are looking at samples of gorgeous, very, very expensive kind of flooring ideas. Now, look at the shimmer, that lovely sort of mermaid tail shimmer from that one. I mean, these, I mean, of course, there's more than one, which is fantastic, um, but they've got wonderful foiling on them as well. Lovely sort of holographic foiling on some of those. Some amazing sentiments on that one. In fact, let me just turn that around so you don't have to. It's a great day. And, that, and that's just the first few. So these, goes on, these go on and on and on. Look at that. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, that's very, very, whoa. It's very William Morris kind of looking, isn't it? Gorgeous. And the feel of this paper, in fact, there are different textures and I think there are different um, there are different thicknesses of papers as we go through these as well. Some are a little bit more heavy weight. This one feels a little bit um, heavy weight. They're beautiful. But some of them are a little bit finer. So, oh, hello. Wowzers. Oh, do you know what that reminds me of? Do you remember, was it I Dream of Genie? Did it? Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. I think it was something like that. Or was it I Love Lucy? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, there's another one of those. Gorgeous. Yeah, you'll all be too young to remember that. Don't, don't even try Charlotte and Holly and Ben. Yeah, everyone's. Bewitched, that's the one. Oh, Bewitched. See, Ben's older than he looks. Yeah, watching the repeats. Well, now, what does that say? Life's a beach. Does it say life's a beach? Does that say no breakfast? Oh, go barefoot. Go, not no breakfast, go barefoot. Tropical vacation. Look, it's uh, that. Go barefoot. No worries. Hello paradise, beach time. Best day ever. Ride the waves. Oh, does it say do barefoot, not go barefoot? 
do barefoot. <laughs> do barefoot, is that an instruction? <laughs> I don't know, anyway, let's move on. Oh, there's another page of those as well. You just get right, this is like the gift that keeps giving, isn't it? Oh, there's that lovely sort of w William Morris print again. Look at that. Do you know what this would go really, really nicely with? You know the beach charts that we saw earlier on the, uh, on the, um, yeah, Stamp Alex? Be really nice with your beach charts, wouldn't it? Be useful. Very, very busy for this one, I'm not surprised. And it's great, actually, because we've got a little bit more time to go through it. Uh, have, you, have you fixed the video player? Is it all fixed? I love that. Control-Alt-Delete took the tape out, gave it a blow, uh, put, a, put a pencil in one, of the, in one of the reels. I'll just take you through the rest of this one then and then we'll move on. See, this one has a slightly different feel. This has more of a flock feel to it. It's beautiful. It's almost velvety. When you get it home, you'll be like, ooh, I've, I've suddenly run into wallpaper. And that's, that's the feel of it. It's wonderful. It's got a lovely texture to it. Um, I'll just quickly take you through a few more. This is very, very busy. I'm not surprised. Now, this time you've got the lovely coral with the iridescence, with the mermaid tail iridescence, or what I would call the aurora borealis. Gorgeous. Seashells. Then you've got, ooh, this is very glam. We'd love that. Imagine that as a background to a card with some of these lovely dyes that we've got today. Amazing. There are more paper um, pads to show you as well, which we'll come back to a little bit later, but I think because we've got the, uh, ooh, that's lovely, isn't it? That's a lovely kind of beachy scene, isn't it? Sort of looking out to the shallows. More and more and more and more and more. Love it. Oh, look, I've got shiny shells. Actually, these will go really, really nicely with the dye that you are about to see. So, hang on a second. <clears throat> we take our finger off the pause button now and go back to Becca and the One Day Special. Okay, so this is a dimensional doily. And when I said that things are not what they always appear, you can actually take this set of motifs In fact, we're going to use two doilies and we're going to make a card that looks like this. Where I've stacked up two doilies, um, it just gives it a lot of depth. You can always use one, but um, they can be offset and layered up and it just gives so much dimension to a card. So we're going to make this one. But first, I'm going to talk a little bit about these dies so that you understand how they go together. Now this one is called Heart Melange and there's another one that I've paired up that's called Pointed Harmony. Um, and you will see that on both of these dies there are three identical motifs and uh, on the end it looks a little bit different and that this is inlay that you can actually um, lift out. And so if you were cutting this particular one and you took the inlay out, matter of fact, let me just do that. You, if you took the inlay out, you would get a regular piece that looks like this, and then you would get a shadow piece that looks like this. And the shadow is just so valuable to have because you can do tone on tone, you can layer them up with different colors, or you can combine them just using the shadow. So um, I'm going to actually show you how these go together. With Pointed Harmony, I've gone ahead and I've put most of a doily together, uh, but I have two pieces here. So, actually, I will show you how to fold this. Now, um, the doily has some perforated lines on it. I usually take a credit card or a ruler uh, to help. You can do it with your fingers, but I just find this works marvelously. Um, you are actually going to line up with the fold, with the pref, 
perforations and then I just pinch that right over the edge of the card. It just makes that line fall right into place. And then I would do the same thing. Oops, I got a little bit off there. Um, by laying this down and just going like so. So what you're going to have is this. And that's the way that it's going to be on both sides. Okay. So for this final piece that's got to go into place, um, you can see here that I have a slit. And you can see here that I have a slit. And so I want those slits to go together and once you get them in the gap, they will just slide in just like that. And so what I do, um, you can do it all at once after you have the whole doily together, or you can do it right now, is just take a couple of drops of glue and put in there, and then let that heal together. And then you have the last one, and there's no big deal about the last one. It's the same thing that you've done all along, where you just let those two pieces intersect, and it just falls right into place. So that's how you put the doily together. So let's get on to our card. I have a card base here that's six inches by six inches. And then I've got a matted layer here that um, I've got a little bit of blue around. So what we're gonna do is take and put this doily just down. Now I actually went ahead and put some glue dots uh, on the back to help it lay flat and we'll just go just like that and it's down and now I will do the same with this. Just need to hit a couple of the high points to get it down and you don't have to go overboard with this, just, you know, enough to get it attached to the layer underneath it would be fine. And I'll do another one and see if we can catch here. Uh, grab one more dot. Okay, so I'm going to just center that and press that down. Okay, and then I've got a, um, a piece of ribbon that I want to tape to the, um, oops, Let's push that down, get one more glue dot. Now I'm caught. Okay. So I'm going to actually lay a piece of ribbon right there and just flip it over. And I do know that I want some of this to peek out. I don't want it all to be hidden. So I'm just going to move that over just a tiny bit. There we go. Now I've got the peaks of that that are going to, the points rather, the points of that that are going to peek out. And trim that a little bit and tape okay okay now I can stick this down 
like so. Okay, and so I've already gone ahead and done a sentiment. And I put a glue dot on there. I want that sentiment to fall right about center there. Okay, and so now I have a little bit of embellishment. I'll take a glue gun and just anchor this curl into place. And that's fine. Now, I have a couple of flowers here that I'm going to use, but um, I used a dye template in the last demo um, that is called Starburst Petal Doily. And so there's a couple of fun things about Starburst Petal Doily. Um, well, first of all, um, it's just got a really pleasing shape. and I played around with this a lot and thought it looked like a butterfly. Well, if you're not doing a butterfly, this actually looks like a leaf. And so on this card, I decided I am going to use it as a leaf. So I've gone ahead and I've cut it out. And now I'm just going to cut along the perforations to give me my leaf. So we'll get rid of those. Get rid of that, get rid of that, and find a way to put these flowers into place. So I'm actually going to glue That leaf there and there and put that there. I don't want it to get too busy at the top. Okay, and put that there. And then I have one more flower right here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just go right here with the flower. Yeah. And then I'm going to go down here. Yeah. All right, and so this shows you how we took two very different doily templates. God, that was amazing. I wanted that to go on forever, didn't you? It's absolutely brilliant. I mean, Spellbind is brilliant, brilliant name because I was completely spellbound just by watching the demonstration there. Um, Becca, who you saw demonstrating there, is the designer of the um, One Day Special Dines, and we'll go back and have a, a, a proper look at them in a moment. But you've been absolutely falling in love with these papers. Um, they're brilliant. So I'm going to take you through the other um, two pads that I've got here as well. The first one, this one has 36 sheets on it, um, and it's called Script and it's very musical which is very apt at the moment because there's lots and lots of people who are showing off their musical talents at home it's really really beautiful this one so this is 36 sheets so it's 18 different designs two of each um, that's wonderful with a lovely beehive there um, and, and lots of script going on in the background as well it's wonderful uh, this is a nice backing paper it's got that lovely sort of um, slightly aged sort of look as a background to it which is really really nice and this is look at that I mean that that's almost like if anyone remembers the days of microfiche not that I ever actually did it but whenever you see it um, in films and whatever somebody looking at microfiche that's that kind of look isn't it against that lovely sort of steely chalkboard kind of color then you've got your musical notes as well you've got your musical scores I have no idea what the piece of music is so I'd love to have a piano in here and uh, have a little go 
Um, and here's a nice fusion, actually, which you can then bring down into um, into smaller toppers, maybe to use with some of the other papers there. Remember, there's 36 sheets in this one and two of each, continu continuing that lovely um, hive theme on that one. Lovely sort of text grid. Oh, now what have we got going on here? Um, do you know what this would be great for? I'd, first thing that came into my head, and listen, you know I've only been around here five minutes, but um, some of the wonderful stencils that All and Create have with this, I just think, don't you think that would be perfect match made in heaven? And some of the recent steampunk um, projects that we've had as well. Really lovely. And that, um, the last ODS as well that we had. Beautiful. This is really lovely with the framed corners there. Leonie would like this as a backdrop, wouldn't she, to go crazy on? That'd be amazing. Oh, so now we've got our monochrome score which is very nice, doesn't it? You never see music kind of displayed like that, do you? Beautiful. Oh, we've got little crowns now. That's nice. Be amazing with rice papers, that, wouldn't it? Start building up the textures and the layers. And actually, um, the dots, the dots that we've got. Remember, we've got the dots, haven't we? We've got the pearl dots in this hour and the stickles, adding that to that would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Nice. You've got that royal kind of proclamation theme carrying on through there. And there we go, there's a slightly different colour going on there. We're nearly there. Nice, simple, more of a muted background. Nice sort of creamy one. Oh, yes. Sorry, that might have done funny things to your telly. Got more of a floral going on, a bit of a William Morris floral going on there as well. Oh, now these are a different, slightly different texture. They're almost like a vellum with, with foiled. They're foiled. They're amazing. And you've got, oh, you've got quite a few of those, actually. Oh, see, there's like little surprises. We're waiting to... This is a brilliant price, by the way, basically half the price that it should be. So 36 different sheets, 18 different designs, two of each, and the final six are this lovely sort of vellum, gold foiled vellum. That's stunning, isn't it? Um, so if you want that one, check it out straight away. It's a brilliant deal. Um, 193465 is your item number for that one at £9.99. pence. And finally, but by no means least, this is my favourite one. This is absolutely my favourite one. 48. Whoa! I have never, whoa, I've never seen such a save ever. Ben, uh, you're amazing. Ben just honestly like a goalie like this is the determination sorry about my face there it was because uh, Ben just lunged like a goalie and it actually did he, he, he saved fairly well sorry Ben as forever I honestly I am the clumsiest here right so this time you have 36 sorry 48 sheets so two of each I mean look at that the colours in that, the texture in that. Oh, actually, there's a raised texture. In fact, this has been embossed as well. There's some glitter embossing in the corner. I don't know if you can see on the flowers there, but that's the first one. Beautiful. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? That's a very busy, busy design in a lovely sort of aqua. Then you've got slightly smaller, finer prints. But look at, I mean, this is really, really hefty um, cardstock as well, I have to say. Really, really nice indeed. Now, that is beautiful because, again, those butterflies have been embossed with a glitter embossing. Can you see that? There you go. Yeah, it was just <laughs> very similar to my shirt. <laughs> so you go, that's that one. <laughs> Honestly, I am never I'm never clumsy in real life, but in this studio, I don't know what happens to me. I just knock everything over. Every single time. They're beautiful, aren't they? Again, these have been glitter embossed as well. I don't you can see on the flowers there. Look at that. Beautiful. And there's, is that foiling going on there in the flowers as well? I think that's part of the embossing. It's lovely. You can feel that lovely um, texture to it. So when we say premium papers, gosh, do we mean it? Um, that's a lovely bright spring colour, isn't it? Wonderful leaves that continue there. Then you've got some nice spring greens in a slightly more of a tiled mosaic. And then look what's going on here. All of your tags here, um, which are beautiful. Again, they've been embossed with a, with a glitter and a shimmer as well, which is lovely. So you can fussy cut those out if you want to. Beautiful. Oh, 
I know. This is this is the one. Oh, here's my shirt again in a, in a different shade. Um, and so it goes on and on and on and on and on. Listen, I don't have time to go all, uh, through all of them, but there's some amazing textures um, through that. Um, it's amazing. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Listen, I've just given you a skirting, fleeting tour through those, but they are very, very busy. Uh, do jump ahead of us on the website and grab those. Now, while we recover the rest of these, I will hand you back to a professional. Here is Becca Feakin with more from the One Day, uh, One Day Special. Okay, so here we go. This is um, this is pointed harmony and i had a lot of these left over i didn't actually use this in a demo so i have probably 20 of these cut out so i played around with them and i figured out that they don't have to lay flat i was amazed and so since we're all kind of in our houses right now and easter is coming this is what i made it's a little basket and it's made using pointed harmony. So I took four and made a little basket. And then also I took three and made, I'm gonna call it a cozy. So I have an egg right here and it dawned on me that it is perfect for holding eggs. Now, this is a heavy egg. So if you're doing favors at your Easter table, um, a plastic egg is gonna work in this quite well, but um, you can also take this egg and put it into the, um, the four. I'll take this grass out. And this is an easy put together. And then this is a stable, this is, I can put that right there and voila. So I am going to show you how to put this together. Um, and that means that um, you will be able to use all of your cast offs and not have any waste. So um, no folding of this. So I'm just gonna put the pointed edge at the top and then I'm going to it's going to feel unnatural. It's not going to feel like the way we made a doily, but I'm just going to seat those together the opposite way. Opposite of what we did before. And then I'm going to take another one with the point pointed at the top and I'm going to do the same thing. So here we go. I just want that to intersect. Okay, so there's three. It still feels weird, but it's going to work out. I promise you. And so now I'm going to take that fourth piece and here again, every time it just feels so weird to me because I've been putting them, it's, it's just definitely the wrong way to put it together. Uh, did I do that right? Yes. Yes. So we got that. We got that. There we go. Now I've got it. So there we go. And now I'm just going to wrap around and I've got the slit up here and down here. So I will just make sure that they intersect. Okay. And so I've got my glue gun right here going to just take and put a dollop of glue. Um, I used white glue on the other, but on this mirror card, it takes a long time for that to dry. So I know I couldn't do that on camera. I'm going to at home, just get a clothespin or something and, um, and then do that with white glue. It'll It'll dry clear and it won't be messy, but this is quick. So I'm gonna put that right there. And so that is the basket. Because the bottom is um, so narrow, I didn't feel like I had to craft any additional um, bottom. 
So for instance, if you wanted as a favor to leave kisses, you know, the chocolate kisses or something like that, they would fit in there without going anywhere. But if you've got the grass, the grass would function as a bottom and voila. So it's an egg cup like I have here, or it's for just the sweetest little treat and it uses all your cast off. So I was just so stoked about that. I hope you enjoyed. And again, I've used point. Um, I've just revealed during that VT to uh, producer Charlotte that, um, you know, Becca's egg there, I'm guessing it's a US egg because they're white, aren't they? They're white, do they have white? Was it a real egg? I don't, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't, um, I, I didn't see whether it was a, a real egg or not. It may have been a painted one. But anyway, during that, I <laughs> Charlotte suggested it could have been a polystyrene egg. And I can't deal with polystyrene. Just to let everyone know, can't deal with polystyrene. I can't be in the same room as polystyrene. You might be the same. Anyway, back to your one day special, because it's not about me, it's about a one day special. Oh, blimey, this is the show that keeps going out all night as well, isn't it, Charlotte? Oh, I've just told even more people now about that polystyrene phobia. Anyway, this is the one day special. It is incredible. And if you've seen over the course of the last hour, and if you haven't had the chance to see the whole show, then what you can do is go to our website at hochanda.com, um, go to the Rewind and watch the six o'clock show on Saturday night. <laughs> and you'll be able to look through the introduction through all of the demos as well um, from Becca. Does it have a name, polystyrene phobia? Oh, they're having a look. Um, so here are, the, um, here are the dyes. And the great thing about it is you've got that wonderful versatility in these dyes. Let me show you some more samples as well um, from our own lovely Nikki Hassan um, and from Paula as well. Um, they are beautiful and I love, it's what? styrophobia it's a real thing well honestly it does make it makes me shiver and i can't listen to it i can't touch it i can't look at it oh it's awful it's ridiculous i feel so pathetic when it's happening but yeah no it's awful no i if something if something comes in a in in packaging with polystyrene in it and somebody else has to deal with it i can't possibly here's one from paula you can see she's um she's cut the dye out in a beautiful way there isn't that wonderful? Here's another Paola as well. Love this. Beautiful. We love you, Paola. How gorgeous. And lovely Nikki Sam. Uh, and you will be seeing um, demonstrations from Nikki as well as we make our way through Sunday. So our one day special will be at, remind me again, Charlotte, eight o'clock, midday and four in the afternoon um, will be your chances to see more demonstrations on the one day special. But it is such a versatile die that as well as all of these wonderful card ideas that you could make little baskets which would be I mean that would be an incredible thing to do and you can also make things like like bunting isn't that wonderful you make the world a better place ah uh, that beautiful isn't it I love it me and my styrophobia it just makes me shiver just thinking about it. Anyway, uh, 44 pounds and 96 pence is your um, price tag on that one. So you are saving 19 pounds. You can break that down in a flexi buy down to two payments as well, remember. So 22.48 on your first payment plus your PMP. Stock wise, as I leave you on the launch live hour over a quarter, of the entire one day special stock has gone. Of course, if you are watching a, a repeat overnight, I can't vouch for the stock that is available right now, but go and have a look on the website, hochanda.com, pop in your item number, 335809, and all the details will be there for you. So everything that is in there, um, and grab yours and check out as quickly as you possibly can. Now there's lots more besides on this show as well. So have a look on the website at chanda.com because you have got, we didn't quite get to them. I mean, we did manage to knot them halfway across the studio, um, but the stickles and the Tim Holtz alcohol ink pearl sets as well. Um, and also the Ranger liquid pearls, they are all th also there. Orchid, cantaloupe, buttercup and you can find out what the and is by going to the website. All the paper packs are there as well. So birds and butterflies. Ah, oh, rose gold. Thank you, Charlotte. We needed to know. We wouldn't have, we're having trouble sleeping as it is. 
but we would never have slept if we hadn't have known that. Anyway, thank you. Uh, of course, the one day special will continue all the way through Sunday. Uh, make sure you keep yourselves fit and well and check out your one day special and enjoy it. There's much more inspiration on the way. Lots of love and I'll see you soon.